Welcome to Amazing World Channel. Image caption Michelle Barnier and David Davis greet each other at the start of Tuesday's talks Brexit Secretary David Davis is aiming to make progress with the EU as he heads to Brussels for the crucial fifth round of Brexit negotiations. It is the last round of talks before EU leaders meet to decide if sufficient progress has been made to open talks on the UK's future trade relations and it comes after ministers sought to ease disquiet among Brexit-backing MPs about the UK's strategy. Downing Street said it wanted the process to be as smooth as possible. After Theresa May briefed her cabinet on Tuesday, a number 10 spokesman said the government hoped to negotiate a deal with the EU on the terms of exit, but was prepared for all eventualities a reference to what some believe is the growing likelihood of a no-deal scenario. On Monday the PM told MPs real and tangible progress had been made in negotiations so far. But the EU has signaled it is not prepared to agree to move on from the initial phase of talks, covering the financial settlement, Northern Ireland and citizens' rights. The final decision on this will be taken at a European Council summit on 19 October, with the UK keen to move on to discussing what its future relationship with the EU will look like. Media playback is unsupported on your device Media caption Theresa May The ball is in their court taking questions from MPs on Monday, Mrs May also confirmed that the UK could remain subject to the rulings of the European Court of Justice during a planned two-year transition period after Britain leaves the EU in March the 2019. This was criticised by some pro-leave campaigners with backbencher Jacob Rees-Mogg telling the BBC he was troubled by the PM's statement. If we're remaining under the jurisdiction of the ECJ then we haven't left the European Union, or the date of departure is being delayed, he said. Image copyright Getty Images image caption Boris Johnson left praised the Prime Minister's approach, but some MPs have been critical Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson and Environment Secretary Michael Gove two key figures in last year's Leave campaign both issued statements backing Mrs May's comments. BBC assistant political editor Norman Smith said their intervention underlined the government's nervousness about the reaction of Tory Brexiteers over the European Court of Justice's jurisdiction which for many of them is a red line. Mr Johnson, who has been accused of undermining the PM with his recent interventions on Brexit strategy, issued a statement backing her powerful vision. On Twitter, Environment Secretary Mr Gove said strong statement from PM on Brexit let's be pragmatic over implementation, to secure maximum freedom, to diverge from EU in end state. Asked on Tuesday about the role of the ECJ during a transitional phase, Number 10 said business should only have to adjust to one set of changes following the UK's departure. But it reiterated the PM's hope that a new dispute resolution system could be devised as quickly as possible to assume the ECJ's functions and settle the matter once and for all.